I don't see what's so great about running around chasing a ball. And what if I hurt my hand? I wouldn't be able to draw comics anymore. idea ridiculous utterly ridiculous why don't you call your father as mayor he could just cancel this class since i mean we hate soccer no need i'm waiting for a call from someone else someone much more powerful <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined I'm no longer Chloe. From now on, call me Penalty. And here's my penalty! It's giving, it's giving share. But also for new recruits whose names I don't know. Miss Hound! Oh, hell no! Oh, ah. It's strategy! <laughs> Woohoo! Cat Noir just scored an own goal! Now that's what you call a cat! <laughs> but I scored, not her. You scored against your own team, Cat Noir. You put the ball into the penalty team's goal. Ah, got it. I just want to talk to him. Wh why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. Dad, this is ridiculous. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. I just want to talk to him. You can't shoot him. Wait, what? What are you doing? Welcome to the bench. What's your name again? It's not my name that matters, but who I hate. And I think we've got a lot in common on that front. Couldn't care less. Oh. Oh, no. Hey, you guys, what is up? My name is CVC. This is the 24th episode of... This is my review of Penultim. The 24th episode of the fourth season of Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. This is my fourth recording of the day. I did my Pride video. I did... I forgot. Psycho comedian Killin and Quillin and now this. My throat is destroyed. But we're still gonna review it because this is the Chloe episode. This is This is the one that I actually watched back and I didn't well some parts I played. I played this at 1.5 speed. I think I've seen this dude before, but it's a football episode and the class are being forced to play and the boyfriends are here. What's so great about running around chasing they're the here and they're queer i love this it's not even his class but he's telling his boyfriend you are going to play football i love this and he's like stop pulling on my wrist i can't draw manga and it's like can you just say comics you don't the way they say manga is kind of weird i'm not gonna lie somebody came into my comments a while back saying that um for 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 what's the name of the episode where alia got miraculous haksan where they asked who names nathaniel nino N mark was the most important thing to know they asked nathaniel what the most important thing to him and he said our manga and they're like my new headcanon is our manga is a nickname for their relationship or mark oh my god if their manga is, is a nickname for their relationship he just held his hand and he said don't hurt it i can't use it for our manga he can't use his hand for their relationship oh my god this just got 10 layers of sexual <laughs> am i blushing fuck i'm so light-skinned fuck my skin is turning kind of pink <laughs> i need to get away from this but apparently oh my cute little boy ah! you are literally one octave below adrian in terms of characters i love but apparently mark has a real love and passion for football this is not anatomically correct but whatever it's all all the anime moves and everything i almost said where is his other foot what is happening the faces this is almost kind of racist what's the what's the oh my god almost kind of racist kind of like the last episode but whatever he's he's really liking it the show has this kind of 
moments where they just show 2D drawings, but they're never this weird. All the Marinette and Adrian ones. So Nathan Nathaniel is finally realizing how much a how much of a dork his boyfriend is, but he's like, y'all draw manga. Don't judge. Don't fucking judge him. And it's the color schemes for me. Red, black, red, black. Ah, I'm freaking out. <laughs> What was this episode about? Football. <laughs> and Chloe doesn't want to play. She's even ruining it for her friend. Saying I forbid you to play a stupid game. And it's like Chloe is petty but she's not. She. Chloe feels like she's above everything. But. And we know she would have called her dad at this point or something. But she has to participate. But why are they forcing someone who doesn't want to play to play? Just put her on the bench and just. I don't fucking know. <laughs> why? Wait. They've already started playing. Oh no no. I think. Mark already came and he's really good with the ball. But if Mark hadn't joined the team, if they hadn't forced him to play, um, and Chloe got out, they don't have a team of 10-10, but whatever. They play, some people are good, some people are trash, some people just don't make sense because I had so many people pointing out to me that, hey, Adrian knows about football. This is a plot hole. This isn't the first time, but this... Adrian isn't stupid. <laughs> yes, he saw everybody kick with his feet. Why put his... You know what? You know what? I've seen worse. What the hell? Like, just what the hell, dude? He's not an inbred. He knows things. He has a whole arcade. I'm pretty sure he probably has, like, football games somewhere in his room. His dad has given him everything. So what are you telling me that he doesn't know the basics? Why are you happy to miss that goal? You can't tell me he doesn't know the basics of football. It's one of the most universal things ever. Well, for maybe Americans, they they, 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 they are more football. Football, football, well, soccer. This is football. Whatever that is, is rugby. Go away. And Chloe is wearing her trinket. It's so cute. Can you tell? I think I already. I already. Some people are like, "Wait, she's calling it football, not soccer." Oh God, she's from Europe. No, I'm just not from America. <laughs> what the fuck is soccer? Anyway, Chloe gets really pissed for no goddamn reason because apparently they say she's the weakest link, so they'll keep rotating her between teams. When when people someone's eye goes red like this, won't people assume Hawkmoth is possessing them? But I guess it's like the rage, the passion, the emotions. Um, Sabrina actually said it. Why don't you just call your dad to call this off? He's like, no, I'm calling someone much more powerful. It's like, well, okay. She literally went from worshipping Ladybug to actively hot dialing Hawkmoth. Like, yeah, give me superpowers, bitch. But she has the charm. It would have just made sense if she removed the charm, put it in her pocket so she gets akumatized. And then... Yeah. She puts it in her pocket so she can get akumatized and then she'll still have the trinket. Because by the end of the episode, I don't think Ladybug gave her another trinket. And she doesn't have one anymore. And Lila doesn't have one because they can't trick Chloe again into having another trinket because she believed it was from her mom. So if they wanted to still have the trinket in play, they could have just made it seem, hey, I'm going to take it off so I can get akumatized. Oh, this is stupid. Maybe put the trinket back on to chase the butterfly away or, you know, break it off, which is also you could have done it a long time ago. Whatever. Put the trinket back on. You still have it but now there's a plot hole where chloe will be like what happened to my trinket the like the ladybugs lucky charm ladybugs whatever reverse everything so it should be back in my possession but it's not she just forgets it exists apparently he gives her the power of being a being very let's be honest this look is sickening i love it it's actually really really cute one of the best chloe looks so far <sighs> Oh, even her little hair buns. Whatever. So she, so she is penalty, and this is her penalty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did I wait? Three, six, ten, eleven. Yeah. Is this how? Is is this the formation? Like you have three on this side, three on that side, and then four in the back, and then she's like the goalie or something. I don't know how they made her stand out more. I think they just made her eyes red, but <laughs> whatever. It's really cool. It's really cool. And they had a football episode where where 
Marinette has to get all the heroes to fight. But then Cat Noir has to tell her, I suck at football. So that is the, her reason for getting the other players, which I guess also kind of add to the whole oh you can't rely on cat noir i need to get other heroes wait was this after kuroneko yes i think it was after kuroneko let me see you know literally after it so after she says just because i don't need you sometimes doesn't mean i don't need you all of the times and then the literal next episode is him going ah oh, hey i suck and she's like oh wait what second let me go get other people that don't suck so she gives everyone else on the team everyone everyone this would have been a really nice episode where we see superheroes like can we have an episode where it's not them fighting a villain like they're they're doing something for charity and they get all the heroes out probably for sick dying kids <laughs> you know just make sure the heroes come out and they're playing a game like this because this was really fun but it was also really annoying because every two minutes we have to stop and show oh adrian is not good oh cat noir is not good because she left him here to get his ass handed to him for no reason look at these streak marks this this looks abusive this show likes fucking with this boy and i don't like it this was the whole this was the whole thing why i never vibed with family guy they really fuck up meg and i remember telling this to like jay and he's like oh no it's part of the joke no it's because of the voice actress thing it's this it's that but i just really don't vibe with it but he's like oh no the griffins will, 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 will hunker down and protect meg even that whole clip of i just want to talk to him the, the peter griffin one with the gun it all just shows that they're very protective of her but i had to watch another video where it shows that oh in recent episodes meg has been standing up for herself i don't know why i just went into family guy tangent point is i can drop a show when i see them actively abusing a character and it has reached this was literally the point i think if i had watched this episode as it came out i think it came out after the finale or something i don't fucking know but if i had watched this and i saw this i could have actually dropped the episode the whole show sorry I don't vibe with this. I don't like it. Point blank period. She gets the rest of the team and... <laughs> Who did this to you? Who? Just just say a name. Just, just, just point. Point in a direction and I will take care of them. What is with the Russian hat? What? What? Just what? Because I remember in my Bunny Noir video... I said this was the least creative thing they could have done with the character and I'm grateful. And someone was like, I am glad they went uncreative with it. C because this is what happens when the team tries to be creative. What is this abomination? This freak of nature? You almost can't tell who's who because Mark looks nothing like Mark. But yeah. What is these costumes? His costume is the only one that I actually like. All of y'all are a fail. You're an F. I can give you a D minus. What is with... Oh, no. That is the whole waddly thing on a tur turkey. Uh, well, turkeys have it too, but on chicken. It's overdone, but I don't like it. It's not overdone in a good way. This is just hideous. What are you? I can stand you fine. I'll give you a C, a, 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 a C minus B. I keep raising the grades because it's Mark. This is only A. Across the board, just no. Just no. <laughs> just like Chloe, just blah, blah, blah. I don't care. So they get the team. If you get touched by the ankles, you are out. I think the first person to get out was... Wait, was it? No? Wait, I think I missed it. Somebody got out, like, immediately. Oh yeah, it was, um... Uh, Viperion. He wasn't even here. I wonder how weird it was for him to just say, Hey, transform, come play football with me. Everyone can play football, but except Adrian. Of course, of course. So, going back a bit i thought this this ring dome thing that she created was just over the stadium but in the live stream i was told no this is the whole of paris i'm like are you sure because there's a lot more city around you'd think there'd be like acres of land before the next city or is paris just oh yeah the eiffel tower oh no 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 it was just paris it's not the whole of france i'm an idiot but there's still a lot of cities left i just had to see the eiffel tower i literally thought it was just the stadium because i said how was she able to get like 
Luca and everything, if they weren't in the stadium, wouldn't people think, okay, the stadium got encapsulated and she was able to get these heroes? Aren't all these heroes from the stadium? But no, they said it's the whole of Paris. So she will be able to go out and get whom, whomstever. He's still just standing out there. I like how he's like, mm, yeah, no, thank you. I, I don't do spandex and hero things. Um, Ivan was able to do it easily. He's like, but what if I hurt people? That's your job. Um, even, I think even Sabina didn't want to go against Chloe. But they're like, yeah, you're yeah, protecting her. He's like, I didn't want to do this. Just giving everyone a power very quickly. It was, it reminded me of a criticism that was given to Steven Universe when it came to, I was going to say unification, fusion. Well, fusion and unification was really the difference. Fusions, where whenever Steven fused with somebody or there was a fusion that happened, some thematic story thing had to happen. But then in the finale, we got, I cannot remember their names. Oh my God, I feel like dying. We got Amethyst and Pearl fusion. We got, um... So who's the fusion of Sunstone? Sunstone, Sunstone, Sunstone. Sunstone, isn't it all three of them? No. Sunstone is Pearl and Garnet? No. That's Sugalite. No, Sugalite is Pearl, is. Sugalite is Amethyst and Garnet. Alexandrite is Pearl and Garnet. What the fuck? What, what makes up the fusion of Sunstone? I think Steven is, is inside the Sunstone fusion. Oh god. Regardless, what was the fucking point I was trying to make? Oh yeah, Sunstone and the Amethyst and Pearl fusion, can't remember the name. They all happened in like that one episode. So it kind of defeated the whole, oh, we have to learn something thematic, something personal had to happen before the fusions came to play. So I think that's kind of the thing with that Miraculous Holders. We didn't really get a Sabrina episode or a Mark episode or something, Nathaniel or Ivan Focus. We just got four heroes out the gate and we'll never get anything expanded on that. They're just heroes now. Go away. Forget it. <laughs> um, Because Milen, we got a we got a Milen dedicated episode when she became Multimouse or Polymouse or whatever. And there's enough seasons, episodes in a season for every character to get a miraculous but they just gave everybody because in the finale we're gonna need a lot of them whatever i'm over it i'm over it so we get the football scenes which is actually really good <laughs> having the person with the power of shield be the goalie is actually very smart sends him to another city district to to another city center like all the way downtown every time they score a goal the, the thing gets smaller and they could die whatever he tosses it across five city blocks across a whole river chanel this thing was so cool them playing between like buildings and stuff using their powers oh i'm getting chills just re-watching it oh my god but they still are able to score a goal adrian i think scores the only goal but it was into his own goal post i fucking hate this I fucking despise this so fucking much. It's actually aggravating. <sighs> Why do they do this to him? Every, if, and it's almost all the times when Chloe gets akumatized. Even the Queen Banana one where he, where they accidentally made him akumatize like the Amokt thing. It's like, can you fucking give him a break on a team with a lot of people? Four people, it's their first time being heroes. How are you still creating enough time for him to fuck up how do you still have time to dedicate screen time to make him fuck up he has very few in season four. Oh god that's another video i need to get to but they're getting their asses handed to them and ladybug is like oh no i've been playing like a solo person i need to play like a team but i understand now but basically like okay go and recharge whatever and it's like again same thing from Chillin, Quillin, whatever, that 
People don't even have to point out she's wrong anymore. She just realizes it on her own, which makes it fucking worse because you know on a subconscious level you're doing something wrong, but you still did it anyway. You saw it didn't work. Then you went to do the other thing, which you knew had a better chance of working. Like, why Why in your head did you think being on a team, a football team, you'd have higher chance for success by working alone when you got actual good players like mark on it but no you had to risk everyone dying realizing you fucked up hell after cat noir scored a goal for you that you were like hey i need to play as a team <laughs> at this point just bench cat noir i don't care when he even said i couldn't even play the game just put him on reserve you had enough members but again i'm pretty sure the show is like oh no she promised she wouldn't keep him to the side she'll keep him in the game but we'll make sure he sucks at the game so you guys don't even want him to play. I see right through you. You can't deceive me. I only deceive myself. <laughs> so they actually put a formation which was actually kind of kind of good. Goalie, whatever this is, whatever this is, whatever that is, a striking team, I think. Wait, no. Strike? No, 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 no. Wait, no. Strikers are... Wait, 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 wait. I think I know this is the goalie. This is the defense. This is the middle or lineback? No, lineback is football. Middle. The still middle. I don't know what she's trying to do over there. But these are the strikers. I know that. Because I watch super strikers. <laughs> God, why did they put Adrian here? Well, he was able to score a goal. But now they're, they're going to start being able to play and play well. They were able to score a goal. What is that in his ear? When did they get these? Did they just pop out of their miraculouses, or did they, did they did they raid an electronic store? So they started. So they started to win, and they're like, "Use your powers. Um, make it seem like it's indefinite, since Chloe has made the 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 game almost indefinite." Oh no, no, that was after this. He has resistance, so he can resist anything, which is actually really cool. Where is it? Yeah, he. Where did they get those earpiece motherfucker things? I know they have to communicate, but they could have raided the store instead of showing us a scene where Adrian is incompetent, just raided an electronic store and said, "We need this. We'll bring it back." Whatever. He has resistance. They can't do anything to him. I and that's a good superpower. That is a bomb ass superpower. Um, she tries to red card him, but for what, whatever reason. Whatever fucking reason, he knows she can shoot multiple, or maybe he doesn't, so he cataclysms it, and they all shoot him with it, and now he has five minutes, or everyone will see it, and the announcer had to announce it, we have five minutes until his identity is revealed to the world, and then this glass is up here, they are over there, and it's like, they did it not once, but twice, hell, three times if we count Adrian in the beginning, pointing out how incompetent he is. Why did they do this to you? The fit was is okay, but it's everything up top. Why the white? Was there white on the fucking Kwame? Why the three colors? All Kwamis are like two. She's two. I don't know where you got the gold accents, but you're perfect. He's one. I don't even want to count how many you are. Probably three, five. He's one-ish. Two, 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 kind of three. Two, one. Why the whites with the white, with the black? You know what? Get rid of the black. Just have brown and white. But it's everything that just fucking sucks. I probably, I should probably make a video about this. Let me know if you guys want a video of me just talking about all the costumes, like the main hero costume, the unification. If this video gets, I don't know, a hundred likes, one hundred and fifty. I don't know. But they try, they devise a plan where it seems like they have their powers indefinitely and they are going to play this game indefinitely. His power is to draw anything, which I don't know how drawing is related to a goat, but whatever, the powers have to fit the person now, not the other way around. And she has the power of fetch, which she used, and he has the power to do anything. I still do not understand this. So he gave himself the power to anytime he wants to score a goal, he can. So if I have the rules for Miraculous and I, and, I, and I say, anytime I snap my finger, I get cake. And that be it. Why couldn't he say, anytime I blink or I'm giving myself the power 
to clap my hands and the okumatized object will come to me no wonder aiden said this power is broken it really is but it's broken in the most stupid way i really wish we got a, a moment where they explained how they got these earpieces or oh no wait i think ladybug opened her yo-yo and was passing them out i'm not re-watching these episodes i'm sorry and this is hideous you're down to a c minus my boy but this is actually kind of cool so every time he kicks he scores a goal and Monkey King now decides to use his power. He, he he could have... If he did this and hit Chloe, it would have interrupted the shield. All this was useless. But I still like the whole football thing. It was actually really fun and clever. See, everything turns to a bubble. I don't know how they are still alive. But, well, bubbler. But this should have popped away too easily. They could pop it, escape, get the glasses. You don't need... I was about to say cock boy don't need a rooster boy so she's like this is ridiculous i am rejecting this power i don't want it anymore you are not strong enough to give me what i want whatever she breaks it herself iconic queen shit <laughs> ladybug fixes everything yada 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 they, they, this boy left an imprint i love it Whatever, Hawk Moth says his thing, and they decided that if Chloe doesn't want to play, we shouldn't make her play. And of course it's Ladybug that says it. The girlfriends! Of course it's Ladybug that says it. Couldn't even give the lines to Cat Noir. And she's like, this is stupid, you're all stupid. The blah blah blah. Chloe doesn't want to play. They get Mark. Nathaniel. Interchangeable to me at this point. Wait, is his pants the color of his collar? Or the inside of his shirt? Why the inside? Ooh. Ooh. I really should stop. I've, I've had people accuse me of being a homophobic, pedophile, groomer for just liking these two. Of course. So, Sabrina really wants to play, but Chloe's waiting for her. She's like, you know what? Whatever. Just play with these losers. I don't care. And apparently her and Lila join teams. This is such a hodgepodge. I hate the fact that now Adrian Cat Noir is literally reduced to just a member of the team. What are she's big? Why couldn't they just make him big as well? Like, you know what? The show is telling me what they want to happen and I am just aggressively against this. Like, motherfucker didn't do shit this episode. Why is he on the same scale as him? Why? And then the, the four new guys. I love it. But... In terms of episode, it was enjoyable, really enjoyable, when, when the heroes were playing football. I really want to see that again, where the heroes are just able to just do something like this. But instead of it being a villain, or making Cat Noir, pointing him out and being, Oh, everyone else is good, but you suck. At the, Viparian didn't do shit, but he didn't know their heels could... Like, it was the deliberate pausing of the camera to point this character out and say, No, he sucks. Makes me go, somebody on this team really doesn't like Cat Noir. Like, really doesn't vibe with him as a character. And they just take whatever shots they can. And I hope this new season we'll see Bunny Noir. Things are going in a new direction. Who knows, maybe it's a feminist that really doesn't like how Cat Noir is always coming strong, on, coming on strong onto Ladybug. So this is their own chance to make him suffer for all the time she flirted with him. He flirted with her. But there's no reverse for Marinette. Well, Marinette is living in constant suffering, I guess. But she's not really suffering for her creepy stalker tendencies towards Adrian. It's all self-inflicted. Whereas it's the universe that's making Cat Noir pay for his crimes. Whatever nice enjoyable episode towards the middle it was actually an all-around enjoyable episode if i just unplugged my brain as a standalone episode if i didn't have any context for what's happening in this bullshit of a show really good i really want an episode where all the teams get together to play a sport and they just go ball deep maybe a special maybe something where their powers don't run out i don't know but that's not gonna happen hawk moth has all the rings all the qualms whatever he has the powers now so we'll see what the new season brings um that's all for these reviews. Uh, I have to do my season 4 roundup. God have mercy. Um, I uh, There's the whole Adrian is problematic video. Uh, I think it was also another miraculous video. I can't even remember. Still not sure if I'm going to do season 5. Up in the air. But thanks everybody so much for continuing to watch. Let me know what you think. Rate the costumes for me in the comment section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on them. But yeah, thanks everybody so much for clicking to watch and for being here. And just dealing with me and my flakiness. And my just lazy depression episode <laughs> it's really bad 
I shouldn't be laughing, but that's not your problem. That's mine. Um, but your support and just being here all through all this miraculous nonsense, especially the whole madness that happened on Twitter with the marinette stands. Oh boy. Yeah. I love and appreciate you all to Helen back. You are lovely. You are precious. You are adored by me specifically. Everyone else that loves you doesn't matter. Only I do. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be all for me, folks. Thanks for watching so much for clicking to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And but with that being said, this is TBC. Mwah. Signing out.